All right, I hope Danny's here. He's gonna uh, keep an eyes and ears on, you know, waiting for a ride, you know what I'm talking about. Anyways, welcome to my Religious Life video blog. And, um, you know what I'm talking about. Third Sunday in Lent. And you know I'm just gonna be, and you know it's gonna be cool, trust me about that as well. And get inside Luke chapter 13 verses one through nine says, it says that uh, beginning on verse one says, repent or perish. You have to repent or you have to perish or whatever happens. Anyways, anyways, at that time, very time, there were some present who told him about the, the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled on their sacrifices. And, and you know what? He asked them, do you think that because these Galileans suffered in this way, they were, they were worse sinners than all the Gal Galileans? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all perish as they did. Or those 18 who killed, uh, who were killed, that's right, who were killed were, uh, yes, when the Tower of Siloam fell on them. Do you think that they were worse offenders than um, all the others in living in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, unless you repent, you you will all perish. Just they have did. But what about the? Uh, but what about on verse six about the fig barren fig tree? Well, <laughs> Father Tony said said it right on his uh, sermon last, his, his, uh, his sermon this morning at my church. And it, now here's why. Then he told up this parable. A man had a fig tree planted in his vineyard, and he came looking for fruit on it and found none. So he said to the gardener, see here for three days. I have come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still, uh, and still I, I find not none. Cut it down. Why should we would it be wasting the soil? He replied, Sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig it around it and put a, mat, a manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good. But if not, you can cut it down. Well, at least you guessed it. <laughs> you know I'm talking about. Um, you guessed it. That's right. Father Tony says it right the first time, so who knows about um, about the fig tree and all that stuff. And you just said, I trust me about that as well. And um, and, and and you know what? It pays to be nice to people, whatever happens. But here in here here in um, uh, here, here in your worst nightmare, you, you have to repent of that about this one. Jesus used both Pilate, Pilate's harsh persecution of the Galileans, and if the tragic death of 18 people were killed in a tower collapse at Siloam and try to point this thing out, because the victims were no, no worse sinners than anyone else, we must recognize the shortness and uncertainty of life and you know why? Here's why. Everybody has to repent now to uh, avoid perish. Perish a little bit later. So here's a review. View of the about. Here's a review I just said that I just read because I heard Father Tony's sermon about the fig tree and um, and all this one. So could be civilized or whatever ever happens and so this is gonna be uh, worse so here's the example just ask it it is wise to cut it down 
a, a tree that bears no fruit. So um, a principle is established, and that uh, and these things, which are fruit, fruitless, and guess what? It has to be destroyed unless they can be changed until God works on this principle. So we see in this whole scripture, and it applies that um, you guessed it to the to the nation of Israel, and it also applies to individuals who fall to who have failed to bring forth the fruits of repentance so that's why I try to make this short if and, and I tell you one thing is it can happen all the time so so and um, and here's my theory to wrap things up if you wrap things up in in, in no time flat because of life lessons in Israel. Israel, and you know why? Because a parable expands, expands the Jesus point, raising a, yes, a national dimension. And that's why a fig tree is a common scripture image, in my opinion. Because Jesus tells the both of the individuals of the nation that the clock is ticking. Oh, well. Well, it's going to say. Because God is watching over his vineyard. And if a plant, if his plant does not bear fruit, then guess what? He can find other ways to get fruit. And everything else can be civilized about this one. You just said a trust about it as well. Oh, let's see. Oh, he's here. Yes. <clears throat> Anyways, to wrap things up. You know what that means. You know my, uh, you know, to wrap things up about Luke's chapter, Luke's chapter about the, had to repent or perish because you have everlasting life as far as we're concerned. Because the, because this commentary is on this passage, passage is Romans 11. And quote this, um, where Paul is grabbed grafting new branches and this passage it's clear that God didn't cut the cut away the vine instead instead he did radical botanical surgery on it but you know in the moment of my my religious life video blog story of this this uh, third Sunday of Lent is this Romans chapter 11 also makes it clear that God is not done yet with surgery because one day Israelite branches known as the fig, fig tree will be grafted again and like I said before Father Tony has it right on my, know, at, at, uh, on this very serious sermon at my church this morning so it could be a fig tree or it could be repent or perish you decide for yourself. Anyways, that's my that's my religious life video blog story, and I'm sticking to it. We'll be right back with hashtag Omar Choirs only on Facebook Watch. Stay with us.